The budget proposal comes as more Planned Parenthood clinics are rapidly closing throughout the nation. The U.S. will soon have two states without any Planned Parenthood facilities. Planned Parenthood of the Rocky Mountains announced it's closing six facilities in Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico because of financial concerns. That means come late July, Wyoming and North Dakota will be the first two states in the U.S. without any Planned Parenthood facilities. Planned Parenthood Heartland also announced plans to close four of its Iowa facilities because of recent pro-life laws. Joining us now is Marjorie Danfelser, president of the Susan B. Anthony List. Marjorie, good to have you here. Great to be here as always. So first off, what does this proposed budget mean for the pro-life efforts in defunding Planned Parenthood? Put some context to this. It's really important. It doesn't have legislative impact immediately. What it says is the Trump and Pence administration mm -hmm. believe these things ought to be. And so it's a communication to Capitol Hill, the House and Senate, the leaders there, that this is what they would like to see in a budget bill. So it really does make a difference because then they won't be surprised if there are arguments back and forth from the Hill to the White House about what, what they would like to see. Okay, but those pro-life efforts still need to continue the health Oh, without bill. question. It's great news, I mean, to hear mm -hmm. that. It means it's clarifying once again about what this administration stands for, but it really is a, more of a symbolic uh, move than anything else. And other uplifting pro-life news, 10 Planned Parenthood clinics closing throughout the nation. What does this tell us about their business model? Look, every time we pick up the paper, there are a whole clump of Planned Parenthoods that are closing and it's crumbling. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the center does not hold for this business model that is abortion-centered. Um, as they're getting, you know, increased funding last year, they're still closing centers. So we haven't even taken away the funds that we intend to take, which is about $500 million. Um, and so when that happens, it's hard to see how that business is going to uh, maintain itself. And I think this is a market-driven failure. Mm. Uh, the services that they provide are not what women need. Town Hall had a piece saying these clinics are closing because women are not getting the quality of care that they're looking for. What do we know about the patient experience at a Planned Parenthood clinic, and how does that compare to that of a community health center? Well, I think what's happened is that the PR machine has weakened because the truth has really come out, mm -hmm. and that women's actual experiences now are affirmed and sort of now being communicated. Mm -hmm. So if you go in and you have osteoporosis, which is ma mainly um, affects women, you mm -hmm. know, bone density issues, if you go in with diabetes, if you go in with uh, breast cancer mm -hmm. and you really uh, need treatment, you cannot get it there. What you can get is, um, is contraception, you can get an abortion, a handful of other things of screenings, but it is not a com comprehensive health care for women. Simply, it simply is not. And when, and when you keep getting directed towards community health centers instead of a Planned Parenthood, then perhaps some, at some point you're going you're gonna to decide, well, I, if I'm really going to go to get the care that I need, I'll go somewhere else. The other thing is the desire that we've had in the pro-life movement for so many years to have coverage of what happens when there are failed abortions or or just botched procedures where ambulance has to have to take women away from the Planned Parenthood to get care, after care, for a, for a terrible situation, which they can't provide. So that's coming out as well. I mean, honestly, when you look at it, it makes sense. Couldn't Planned Parenthood and the Planned Parenthood PR machine take all these closings and say, see, we do need federal funding more than ever. And what would your response to that be? It'd be, um, don't throw good money after bad. If you want a good mm -hmm. investment, you, you shift all that money over to the community health centers that are have uh, far more comprehensive care. There are, there are a multitude of them. There's an average of 20 to 1 nationally in terms of community health centers to Planned Parenthoods. They're accessible. They're comprehensive. Put the money where it makes some sense. And, uh, and then w women will really get what they deserve. And enough of the shoving the PR machine down our throats. And frankly, we should be satisfied that the market has decided that these Planned Parenthoods should be closing. Marjorie Dannenfeld, so you'll stick around for another discussion later in this show. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>